I wanted to first talk about also the body confidence and, you know, mm. how that's important to you and how yeah. would you recommend for people to embrace their bodies and how would you recommend starting that? Yeah, I think it's so funny because I, I know obviously we'll touch on on like health stuff later, but I only really started like exploring and really trying to embrace my body confidence after being sick. I think when you lose so much time or you get that sort of realisation that, you know, that like silly saying of life is short and all that jazz, when you have that realisation, you don't want to spend any more of it at war with your body or being insecure. And that isn't something that's going to go away overnight. But for me, it was really just having that initial thought of going, I don't want to look back in another 10 years and go, I wish I'd gone swimming with my friends or I wish I'd worn the shorts in that baking heat. And so I think the first place to start is literally just in your head. And every time you have that negative Nancy saying, you can't wear that or you look silly or, oh gosh, you don't like this about yourself, is... And this is what I do is I literally stop myself and say out loud, stop thinking that, like stop feeling that way. You are allowed to go out and wear a pair of shorts. It's baking hot. I mean, even if it's cold, you can wear them, but maybe wear a coat. But literally saying out loud positive things about yourself. And it's like those affirmations that, you know, you read everywhere. It's, it's actually saying them. And the more you say it, sooner or later, I think the person inside your head's going to listen. Yeah, absolutely. And it's about kind of, embracing yourself and kind of like yeah. uh, being happy with that you exactly know? and it's not you know I don't think I don't think anyone every single day of their life is going to be confident and feel great in their body but it's just about accepting it and embracing your body and being thankful for everything that it does for you you know I've been very lucky in the fact that it has carried me through a lot of different health problems now but it literally it it's the reason you wake up in the morning, like your lungs are there giving you oxygen, your stomach is literally like your little engine, you put your food in and it transperses it to the rest of your body, like your body does so many amazing things for you. So instead of seeing it as something aesthetic or, or you know, you're picking it apart for what it looks like, take a step back and be like, well, what does it do for me? Mm. And I think when you can start like appreciating what it does for you rather than the way that it looks, that's when you start being like, oh, my body's amazing. I think, yeah, attitudes have really changed now as well. Like, yeah. you know, you saw the reaction to this whole Tilly Ramsey thing on the <gasps> yes. on Strictly and, you know, um, people don't want to say that anymore and they yeah. don't want to hear those kind of... I just think slowly but surely, and I think social media is a massive turning point for this, is people are really starting to, like question the media and go why are you picking apart her weight like what does her body have anything to do with the song that she's singing or why does it matter if this girl looks a certain way for this like your body is quite literally the least interesting thing about a person so why are we I'm over analyzing yeah it why are we making it the it? only thing that we're talking about and with this and when the um it was the radio presenter wasn't it who mentioned yeah. about tilly ramsey and i just thought what does that have anything to do with what this girl's doing exactly like nothing absolutely diddly squat so how about we just take that little bit out of the equation and just tell the story yeah, like yeah. tell what you want exactly. to say and, and, and concentrate on her talent and the dancing exactly rather than, and, and i especially think especially at that young age oh, you know, to already be getting that you know to already be having that don't, anyone needs really exactly exactly i just don't think anyone needs it and like you said especially at a young age it's just not needed yeah. 